Hello everyone. Hope you guys doing absolutely well. Today we're gonna talk about circuits and landing. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. Now to start with circuits and landings, we need to know a few things. Circuit is just you take off from a railway, circle around and you come back for landing. It has four legs, upwind, crosswind, downwind, base and final. Circuit can be done in both sides. If you are making right hand circuits, all turns will be to your right. Similarly, if it is to your left, all turns have to be left. All legs are 90 degree to each other. If the runway heading is 000 or 360, and if you are making a right hand circuit, then your upwind heading will be same as your heading, which is 000 or 360, crosswind 090, downwind 180, base 270, and final again 000 or 360. And also, you need to maintain some spacing between the runway and downwind. It's about 1.5 nautical mile. Now, how we will gonna achieve that? It's quite simple actually. We'll do a downwind turn when we'll have 45 degrees to the runway. And the most important part, circuit altitude is 1000 feet AGL. It's not MSO. So, if you have the airport elevation 1500 feet, then your circuit altitude will be 2500 feet. We are at Kolkata airport, having absolutely good weather. Now speaking about weather, what is the weather condition we need for circuit? To fly circuit, you should have visual meteorological condition. I'm not gonna talk about whole PMC minimum, but here what you need to know. To fly VFS circuit, you should have at least 5000 meter of visibility and cloud separation 1500 horizontally and 1000 feet vertically. If you wish to know more about BMC Minima, please check the link in the description box below. Enough talk, let's get jump into the cockpit. Now as you can see, aircraft is in cold duck stage. I'm not gonna follow all the pools here to start up. I'll just quickly start and meet you once the aircraft ready for taxi. Now we have started up. Let's talk to the ATC. Kolkata delivery. Good afternoon. Victor Tango, India, India number. How do you read? Victor, India number. Good afternoon. Radio 5x5. Five five. Go ahead. Stand 02, POV 01. Request start off for circuits and landing. Information Bravo on board. Victor, India number. Cleared for right hand circuit pattern. Departure runway 01 right. Climb and maintain 1000 feet. Squawk VFR. Clear for right hand circuit pattern departure on 01 right. Climb and maintain 1000 feet. Squawk VFR. Victor India number. Victor India number. Read back correct. Contact Kolkata ground on 121 decimal niner for startup and taxi. We'll contact ground on 121 decimal niner. Victor India number. Kolkata ground. Good afternoon. Victor India number at stand 02. Startup complete. Request taxi to run 01 right. Victor India number taxi to holding point Alpha 1 runway 01 right QNH 1013. Taxi to holding point Alpha 1 runway 01 right QNH 1013. Victor India number.
all right as you can see we are uh, holding short runway 01 right and we are pretty much ready for lineup so we'll call up atc for lineup clearance Kolkata ground victor india number holding short runway 01 right request frequency change to tower victor india number contact kolkata tower on 118.1 Tower on 118.1 Victor India number. Kolkata Tower, good afternoon. Victor India number holding short runway 01 right. Victor India number, wind calm, clear to take off runway 01 right. Clear to take off runway 01 right, Victor India number. Okay, guys, we just got our takeoff clearance, so let's go and take off. All right, let's go. 1800 RPM. Oil pressure, oil temperature checked. Brake released. Rotate. Little bit to the right. Need just small correction. There we go. Passing 300 flaps up, reducing rate of climb to get 79 of climbing speed. Okay, we have enough speed now. Let's climb back. Five hundred feet turning cross. Remember, fifteen degree of bank angle during climb. Stall speed also depends on your bank angle. As your bank angle get increases, your stall speed also get increases. As you climbing, your speed will be low. So, if your bank angle is more at lower speed, you may get into the stall. Stall speed also depends on various factors, so we'll talk about later. We'll roll out here. Keep lookout and scan runway continuously. Forty-five degree to the runway, turning for downwind. We are a bit late, but it's fine. Continue turning. There is the runway. We will roll out at heading 187 as because our runway heading was 007. So the difference between runway heading and downwind heading is 180. Now we will call up ATC for further clearance. Kolkata Tower Victor India number on right downwind runway 01 right because full stop landing. Victor India number approved for full stop landing. Report when on final runway 01 right. Roger that clear for full stop call your final run is 01 right to Victor India number. Okay, it is notified. Now to keep your flight straight and level and also to not get away from your downwind path, you can take a reference point straight to your downwind path and keep tracking your reference point with your aircraft nose. For example, we have taken a route as a reference point. And also keep looking out, check with the runway 
if you are converging or diverging. You need to give correction accordingly. Now time to descend. Best way you can start your descent when you are abeam to your runway threshold. Flaps 1. Make sure before you putting your flaps 1, your speed should be below 110 knots. The limitation for flaps 1 in Cessna 172 is 110 knots. Alright, time for base turn now. Again, you need to have 45 degree to the runway from downwind before you start turning for base. Looks like we have 45 degree now. Alright, turning right. Remember, in descending turn, you can go up to 20 degree of bank angle. We are on base leg now. You can set your flaps 2 but before you set your flaps 2 you should be below 85 knots. The speed emission for flaps 2 is 85 knots. Ok, putting flaps 2. On the base, you may need to adjust your rate of descent and power setting to have a perfect glide path on the final. So we are looking for 500 feet on the final. So we are on final, let's call up ATC for landing clearance. Call with our Victor India number on final runway 01 right to land. Victor India number when come clear to land runway 01 right. Clear to land runway 01 right, Victor India number. So as we are approaching, our approaching speed will be 70 knots. That was a nice landing. Okay, let us check what we just did. We took off from runway 01 right, heading 007. At 55 knots, we started rotating. Then we maintained 60 to 65 knots of climbing speed until we retracted flaps at 300 feet. Then we maintained 79 knots of climbing speed. At 500 feet, we started turning for crosswind. Then we climbed to 1000 feet AGL by end of crosswind. Crosswind heading was 097. Then when we had 45 degree to the runway, we started turning for downwind. We maintained 90 knots of cruising speed and 187 of downwind heading. At AVIM threshold, we extended our flaps to 1 which was 10 degree. Then we started descending. Remember, if your speed is more than 90 knots, after putting flaps 1, wait until your speed get reduced to 90 knots, then start your descending. You can maintain 85 to 90 knots of descending speed. Then again, when we had 45 degree to the runway, we started turning for base. Now on base, when we had below 85 knots of speed, we extended our flaps to 20 degree. You may need to adjust your power setting and date of descent on base to have 500 feet AGL and 70 knots of speed at final. 
Now one important part I forgot to mention that when we should start turning for final. Now it is a bit difficult to judge. It is actually depending on wind components. If you have tailwind on base, it will push you forward and it can lead you to overshoot the runway. Similarly, if you have headwind, it will push you backward and resulting in an undershoot turn. The best way to do it, turn early in case of tailwind and turn late in case of headwind. The timing of turn also depends on strength of winds. Now how will you get to know the wind details? In G1000, it is below speed indicator. If you don't have turn it on, you can always turn it on on PFD menu. And if you are not flying G1000 aircraft, you can always ask ATC about the wind details. And you need to find out whether if you have tailwind or headwind. Now on final, we had 500 feet and 70 knots of approaching speed. We maintained 70 knots of approaching speed until above threshold. Then we continuously reduced power to have a perfect landing. Alright, that is a part of landing and we're gonna make a separate video for landing. For now, we're gonna finishing our video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something new about circus and landing. See you next time.